Today, I am announcing that Canada is acquiring a new fleet of 88 state-of-the-art F-35 fighter jets through an agreement that we have finalized with the United States government and Lockheed Martin with Pratt and Whitney. This investment is estimated at $19 billion, making it the largest investment in our Royal Canadian Air Force in 30 years. And I said a new Liberal government won't buy the overpriced F-35 stealth fighter jet. It's a stealth fighter that will cost tens of billions more than what Harper promised, a stealth fighter that can't defend our Arctic, a stealth fighter that's not actually stealth, and until yesterday, a fighter jet that Stephen Harper's own government put on hold for those same reasons. Well, this is now the fighter jet that Stephen Harper wants to buy no matter what, no matter what it costs. That F-35 might be Stephen Harper's dream, but I can tell you, for Canadian taxpayers, it'll be a nightmare. Thank you. And, and as a follow-up, you mentioned the, the Hornet Extension Project. That's uh, over a billion dollars. Uh, I think it's $1.2 billion. That's obviously one of the costs of the delay in, uh, in the initial plan to purchase the CF-35 that was announced in 2010. Uh, there have been others as well, such as gaps and things like that. What can you say, what can you tell Canadians has been a benefit of the last 12 years of delays and constant talk about uh, of fighter jets and the F-35 that has essentially led us to the same point that, you know, the same decision that was made in 2010. Let me just say, Lee, that at the heart of the decision that we are discussing today is the fact that it resulted from a process that Canadians can have confidence in. It was a fair and open and competitive process run uh, out of PSPC. And as a result of that robust process, we are able to make the announcement about the purchase of the uh, 88 F-35s. The aircraft has also evolved and matured. Eight countries have declared an initial operational capability. And I want to reiterate that in addition to ensuring that our country will be protected and our obligations to NORAD and NATO will be maintained, we are also ensuring that economic benefits from this procurement will flow to the Canadian economy. And in particular, this procurement has the potential to contribute over $425 million annually to GDP and close to 3,300 jobs annually for Canadian industry and supply chain partners over a 25 year period. So I am confident after this open and fair competitive process that the benefits to our country in terms of national security, as well as the benefits to our country in terms of economic security are going to persist and are present. We can only have economic prosperity if we ensure national security. And that is what our government is doing with this announcement today. 